Hey guys, in this video, we are going to cover Cell, one of the most interesting antagonists from the Dragon Ball series. The villain who unleashed the beast within Gohan and made a moment to remember. Oh and guys, remember to show some love by hitting that like button and notification bell. It would mean a lot to us. And a quick reminder, we have started selling merch. The shirts are lit. We have a unique Dragon Ball design that we came up with. So make sure to grab them via the link in the description below. And with that, let's get started. The initial conception of Cell was actually due to the lack of interest Akira Toriyama's former editor Kazuhiko Torishima had for the villains in the Android arc. Torishima wasn't happy with Dr. Jiro and 19, describing them as an old man and a china doll, and at other times a fatso and some old guy. This led Toriyama to introduce Android 17 and 18. However, this still didn't satisfy Torishima as he felt as though that 17 and 18 were, in his own words, a couple of brats. Yeah, Torishima is a hard man to please, but this ultimately led to the creation of Cell, who Torishima finally approved. However, the complaints never stopped there. After the creation of Cell, Toriyama's new editor at that time, Yukondo, felt that the design for Cell looked ugly in his insectoid form. So original Cell became imperfect Cell, and this led Toriyama to give Cell the ability to transform, and with it, the inception of semi-perfect Cell. But these editors aren't easily pleased, so as you can imagine, Yukondo also had a problem in how semi-perfect Cell looked. He called him goofy looking, forcing Toriyama to hasten Cell's transformation to his final form. Sadly for Toriyama, the second form of Cell was his favourite form and he wanted to show more of him. I guess editors can be a pain at times. Okay, so we get that Toriyama only came up with the conception of Cell because of his editors, but the actual inspiration behind Cell and the whole Android arc is said to be inspired by the Terminator movies. The similarities are pretty convincing once you recognise them. Future Trunks takes the role of Kyle Reese, Gohan takes the role of John Connor, Android 16 takes the role of the Terminator, and you have Cell, who is able to regenerate much like the liquid metal Terminator, known as the T-1000. And to top it off, the date that the first Terminator appears is on the 12th of May, the same day the androids first appear in Dragon Ball Z. Coincidence? I think not. But this inspiration was never really confirmed. But Terminator wasn't the only movie set to influence this arc. The Superman movie also played its role. If you guys want to know more about other Hollywood movies, movies that inspired Toriyama, check it out on our mind blowing facts about Dragon Ball Z. Okay, so now we know how the idea of Cell came about, but in a Dragon Ball question and answer volume, Toriyama was asked what's the source of Cell's name, in which he responded in his own words saying it's because Cell in English is Cell. Since he absorbs humans and transforms, he was named after the English word for Cell. Now although that might be clear enough, one can assume what Toriyama actually meant was that Cell's character was like a cell of a living organism as in biology, cells are the smallest unit of life that can replicate independently and cells are often called the building blocks of life. A follow up question asked to Toriyama was what served as the model for Cell's design in which he responded insects. Beside his design, the way in which he hatches from an egg and sheds his skin as he grows was also based on insects. So yeah, Cell very much resembles an insect, in both in appearance and in the way he goes through different stage of metamorphosis. If you guys think about it, a lot of people compare the looks of Cell to Miriam from Hunter x Hunter and considering they both are based on insects, it wouldn't be far fetched to say Togashi was inspired by Cell. The first core form of Lavos from the video game Chrono Trigger also resembled Cell in his imperfect form. The character from the game were designed by Akira Toriyama himself. But before coming up with the final illustration for Cell, Toriyama went through a couple of iterations. Some of the design looked more like King Cold and Freezer, and in one of them Cell has hair and looks more human. But I'm actually pretty happy with how he ended up looking. Let me know which of the designs you guys think Cell would have looked good in. Or are you guys also content with his final construct? Let me know in the comments section below. Toriyama also mentions in an interview that drawing Cell's design is actually pretty hard. He says that illustrating the spots on his body were really tough. As it was very tedious to draw them every time. This could be a possible reason why he didn't really reintroduce him in Dragon Ball Super. 
Have you guys ever tried to imagine what would happen if Cell fused with Frieza? Well, don't need to imagine it because in the Dragon Ball Fusion game, the introduction of Cellizar was revealed. Cellizar is an ex-fusion between Cell and Frieza where they use the Metal Mo rings and perform the fusion dance to create the ultimate form. Later in the game, Cell participates in the strongest possible fusion known as the Ultimate Ultra Fusion where Cell along with Frieza fuses with three other in-game characters, Pinage, Wanta and Pipraka, making a five-way fusion between them, becoming Ultra Pinage, an extremely powerful character in the game classified as a G rank fighter. I'm assuming the G means God. Ultra Pinage easily ends up killing Super Saiyan Blue Goku with a single attack. There was also other potential fusion with Cell. In the Dragon Ball Z collectible card game, the hypothetical fusion of semi-perfect Cell and Vegeta was made forming Reggie Cell. However, the card itself doesn't depict the fused character. Instead, showing the two fusing characters beside each other which is a shame because I wanted to see how it would look like. If any of you guys are great at drawing, try to draw Reggie Cell and tweet it to us. Although Cell is a unique individual, ultimately his personality, character and even his choices are actually formed by the DNA he is based off as he doesn't really have any personal experience to go by. All he really has is instructions, alluding to the fact that he might not really be evil after all as being evil is a choice which he doesn't really have. It's pretty deep but think about it. Cell is composed of cells from Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta, Frieza and possibly King Cold. And according to the manga title page, a number of other life forms in the fun animation dub, it is also stated that he has cells from Krillin and Gohan. He also possesses the information on Napa, Raditz, Chiaotsu, Tian, Yamcha and Future Trunks which were collected by Dr. Jiro remote tracking device and stored in the supercomputer. So everything about Cell is nothing really original. Think about it. From Cell's technique, personality, decisions and even his look are based on another life form. Cell didn't even have enough time to experience life and make his own character. Think about it. Cell is able to to use attacks and abilities which he didn't learn but inherited. It is implied that when using these attacks, he often changes or highlights his genetic code so he can match the genetic source of his attack. This can be shown when he attempts the Kamehameha wave at Piccolo. Vegeta and Gohan senses Goku in the distance while Goku was actually sleeping. Even with Piccolo's regeneration this was implied. In the case with Cell's personality and decisions, you can see that all four forms of Cell had some sort of traits from the Z Fighters. In Perfect Cell is sneaky and calculating like Piccolo, Semi-Perfect Cell is vain and arrogant like Vegeta, Perfect Cell was laid back and only wanted to fight powerful opponents like Goku, and Super Perfect Cell is impulsive and cocky like Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, which could be coming from the Saiyan gene. Also, King Piccolo had previously also enjoyed himself by taking over the world, as if it was a game and tried to rule through fear, Akira Toriyama wondered in an interview if Cell's similar way of doing things is from the influence of Piccolo's Cell, implying that the decisions Cell made wasn't really his own but the decisions of the Cell that made Cell, if that makes sense. Even the mistakes he made are made by the Z fighters fighting him. Cell once tricks Vegeta into letting him become complete so he could see his true power. Later, Cell attempts to unlock Gohan's hidden potential as well, eventually resulting in his defeat, just like Vegeta. Like Future Trunks, Cell powers up to his maximum and beefs up which makes him stronger but slows him down so that he cannot land a single hit on Gohan. He literally gave Trunks a lecture about it and does the same thing. This leads to him being kicked in the gut, puking at Android 18, reverting him to his semi-perfect form. In the term of Cell's look, in all of Cell's adult form, there is one area of his body that never changes, the black diamond area in the centre of his chest, which is similar to the purple block on Freezer's chest. And the green could come from the Namekian DNA from Piccolo. More likely those appearance DNA are more dominant than the human and the sane one. There are some inconsistencies with the Cell arc that caused a lot of fans confusion and even brought some serious questions. Questions which needs to be answered. No, but seriously guys, like for instance, in the anime, while Gohan was in the hyperbolic time chamber, he has a nightmare about Cell killing Chi Chi and Piccolo. Nothing wrong with that, right? It's just a nightmare. Well, the thing is, during Gohan's training in the hyperbolic time chamber with Goku, he never even knew what Cell looked like. To make it more odd, Cell is in his perfect form. Like Gohan must have had some Bardock Saiyan blood future telling abilities or some shit, right? Or maybe Toei just messed up. The funny 
funny thing is, there's also a scene where Goku is encouraging Gohan to tap into his anger by picturing self, but Gohan responds he can't because he doesn't know what he looks like. There is also another inconsistency. In the manga, Cell reveals he's always able to come back as long as his head stays intact because that's where his nucleus is, which makes sense because Piccolo has said the same thing about his own regenerative abilities and Cell gained his regeneration from Piccolo. Even after Cell comes back as super perfect Cell, he says, there's a small clump inside my head, this makes up my nucleus. As long as that clump isn't destroyed, my body can continue regenerating. So basically, Cell's regenerative ability is inside his head. The problem is, Cell actually has his head blown away at one point and manages to survive. Goku literally wipes his upper half in a Kamehameha. This should have killed him. In the manga, Toriyama doesn't address this. The anime tries to rectify this by having Cell say, that every cell in his body has a life of his own, which allowed him to regenerate from it. This could make sense, or maybe Cell just relocated his nucleus from his head to his rectum. Let me know what you guys think. Put it down in the comment section below. Is this a plot hole, or is Toriyama hinting his genius without telling us? For the Japanese dub, Cell is voiced by Norio Wakamoto, the same voice of Charles V. Britannia from Code Geass, Zemnas or Zemunasu from Kingdom Hearts series, Count Dracula from the Castlevania Dracula X series and many more awesome characters. In an interview, Wakamoto said when he voiced the forms of Cell, the first form was monster-like, so he used a raspy voice which he said was a pain, so he toned it down for the second and by the final form he was able to perform comfortably. For the English fun animation dub, Cell is voiced by Damon Clark, who is the voice for Scar from Full Metal Alchemist, the voice of Tambourine in Dragon Ball, and also the voice for future Gohan in the History of Trunks movie. Yes guys, he was the first voice we heard of adult Gohan, however he didn't continue voicing Gohan into the Buu saga. Clark stated that Cell is one of his more fun and entertaining characters. During the release of Resurrection F, in which Frieza returned, Clark said he began receiving questions about a film featuring Cell's return, which he himself supported. There are some couple of changes from the manga to the anime. For one, in the manga, Imperfect Cell only has three fingers on each hand. In the anime, they gave him the typical five. This, like many of the other characters with less fingers, were due to censorship because missing finger digits has connection to the mafia and a certain class of people in Japan. We cover this more in detail in our mind blowing facts about Dragon Ball Z, so make sure to check it out. Another change to the character is the way Cell is referred to. In the anime, Cell is always spoken of with male pronouns, while in the manga, Cell is spoken of in a gender neutral way and is referred to as it. This does make more sense as Cell is an artificial being and pretty much a sexual and able to make offsprings by asexual reproduction like he did with the Cell Juniors. Alright guys, unfortunately for all of you Cell fans, he doesn't make an extravagant return like Frieza. Neither does he stick around like Boo, as Fat Boo kind of replaces Boo and there's also Oob. But if you guys want more of Cell, you can find him in Dragon Ball Online. There is a story where Cell is resurrected and placed into a capsule and modified into Cell X. Cell X is like some Mewtwo shit to be honest, and a bit like Broly Cyborg. Cell X eventually fights off his creators and lives in a cave. As I said, he's very much like Mewtwo, so you can guess what happens next. Yes, he builds an army, but not of clone Pokemon, but loads of Cell Juniors. The story is pretty interesting, I would recommend you guys read it up. A different type of Cell X later appears in a spin-off manga called Super Dragon Ball Heroes Dark Demon Realm Mission. And Cell is actually a giant form of a Xeno Cell, who is fused with a Dark Dragon Ball. As a result, he has a slightly different appearance from his original incarnation seen in Dragon Ball Online. Cell X is introduced to the second mission of the original series. He looks pretty badass but to be honest he looks kind of scary. Alright guys it's time for a blazing round. Cell is approximately 7 feet or 213 centimeters tall in its perfect form and is said to weigh around 108 kg or 240 pounds. His power level in his perfect form is listed as 900 million in the game Scar 2 Battle Taiken Kamehameha. In the special mission in the game it increases even higher to 1,079,956,055. Cell's second form is Akira Toriyama's personal favorite form. Of all three Dragon Ball Z main antagonists, Cell has the lowest body count, his kill count 
account only consists of thousands of unnamed humans if you exclude Goku, Trunks and 16 and technically King Kai. Meanwhile, Frieza and Margin Buu have killed billions as they were seen blowing up planets. Cell is unleashed in the age 786 in his timeline and died in the age 767 in the main timeline 19 years before his alternative self would have been unleashed into the world. Pretty sad you know, he died before he was even born. This incarnation of Cell kills an incarnation of Future Trunks twice, first in his imperfect form when he steals Future Trunks time machine and the second in his super perfect form when he kills Future Trunks during the Cell games. Ironically the latter Future Trunks also kills Cell twice, first alongside Krillin while present Cell is in his novel form and second in his own timeline while Future Cell is in his imperfect form. Alright guys that's it for Cell. Personally, the Cell games were my favourite moments in Dragon Ball Z and hopefully we'll see more of Cell in Dragon Ball Super, who knows. And before I end this, I wanted to remind you guys once again that we are started selling shirts. You guys can copy it via the link in the description below, so please check it out. Remember, you'll be supporting us if you purchase it and you know, you'll know you also obtain a lit shirt. It's a win-win. And if you lot want us to cover and go balls deep in other animes, put it down in the comment section below or message us on our social media platforms. See you till next time. I'm